Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can download and set up PyCharm which is an IDE and the reason why we are downloading it is because it is easier to perform more complex program on PyCharm IDE as compared to the default IDLE we get with Python. So yeah, first of all go to your web browser and in your search bar write download PyCharm and press enter. So here go to the first link and here it is the first link download PyCharm Python IDE by jetbrains.com so once you'll click on it, you'll be redirected to this website where you'll have two options. You can either download the community version or you can download the professional version. So we'll be downloading community version for this course because it is free to download. And professional course, the professional one gives you more options, but we are not going that deep in Python in this course. This is just for beginners. I mean, not that beginner, but yeah, professional is not needed for this course. So just download the community version and click on download and your downloading will be started as you can see downloading has been started it is just 319 MB so once it has been downloaded just open it once you'll open it your installation will be started soon so its installation is really simple like any other software just click on next again click on next I mean just browse to the location wherever you want it to be downloaded but I'll prefer the default location here you can select if you want to create a desktop shortcut or if you want create associations.py so i'll just select dot py i'll just select these three things add part to library create desktop shortcut and dot py and click on next and now click on install and now the installation will be started so it will take a few minutes depending on your pc's configuration so yeah let's wait for it to be downloaded now Now here it is, it has been installed on your PC, so we'll reboot our PC later and the installation has been finished. Now let's set up PyCharm on our PC. So open PyCharm from your start menu or from the desktop shortcut. I confirm that I have read the agreement, click on continue, don't send, I'll click on don't send, you can click on send if you want to send your data. And once you are here, you'll have an option to create a new project, open an existing project. So we'll first create a new project here. So once you'll click on new project, you'll have this option here. You'll have various options how you want your project to look like. So here I'll select. So first of all, change the name here, what, whatever you would like to name your project. So I'll name it YouTube and there's nothing much you have to change here. So I'll just click on create here and the project will be created. So for the first time when you're creating a project, it will take a few minutes on your PC. So I'm just fast forward forwarding it. As you can see, it will take some time to set up a virtual environment on your PC. So yeah, it might take some time, but once you're here, you'll see this main.py script. You can see this is a Python script, press shift plus F10 to execute it or replace it with your code. So here, this is a Python script. You can just write your Python code here. But if you want to create a new Python file, just right click on this YouTube project. The name of a project is YouTube. Click on new and create a new Python file. Give your Python file a name. So I'll name it first because it is our first project. So press enter and your this Python file will be created. So let's see if it's working. So write print and here let's type hello. And now press shift plus F on, on your keyboard and you can see this hello has been printed here. Now print three plus two and I'll again press shift plus F10. So now hello and five, these two things are printed. So now our Python script is working on PyCharm and now in further videos we'll be using PyCharm only. So that's it for this video. That's how you can download and set up PyCharm. In the next video we'll be learning about if, elif and else statement. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.